Greetings, everybody. Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to episode two of Oxygen Not Included Badlands, which originally streamed live on Twitch. Oh, tidy, tidy, tidy. Can't wait until they're stronger and they carry more than 240 per trip. How are the moods right now? Because we don't have any skills, they'd be fine. Morale here is actually right here. You can see it. This is the stress. So this is how many duplicates you have. This is your current stress. This is how many people are sick. This is your total um, kilo calories. And then there's a little chart here. This is a bar graph or a graph that charts your your stress. So you can see it go up and down right now. It's been zero since I started, so it doesn't look like anything. And here's your kilocalories. And um, it's been pretty flat as well because as we dig up muckroot and things like that, we are adding calories as we consume them. But that is not going to be able to be done forever. So we did just finish advanced research. Uh, I think we're going to go back to... I'm actually going to jump over to interior decor and then we'll go back to water filtration. And you guys want a mess hall great hall, so I'm going to queue that up and build a mess hall. Cool. We also have our first level up. So Viper leveled up. I can give him improved construction, improved carrying. Well, I mean, I could give him any of this, but he desires these because they're the, his passion. So I'm going to give him improved carrying. Allowing him to tidy up faster. And I'll give him an improved carry hat as a result. And he will be happy with that hat. So if we take a look at his bio now, or um, his morale. Right now his morale is 6, and his morale needed is 1. So the morale 6 is he's a duplicate. We have a tr latrine. We have a 2 break shift. We have a barracks. Uh, and then last decor cycle, the decor was mediocre. And then I also gave him a skill he was interested in. So a morale of six and skill of one means he's plenty happy. There's also the opposite, uh, sort of like an inspiration where they get really, really happy and they have a happiness. So Viper's happiness when he's overjoyed is balloon artist where he, um, you know, makes a lot of balloons for the colony. Uh, then Kimo is also balloon artist, and Kellyan is super productive. And we have another skill. So Kellyan just leveled up, and I'm going to give her advanced research because she's our researcher. And stick the research hat on her. Ta da! And then if we take a look at her, her morale is only three. Because she is not the same as Viper. Viper has different, um... Uh, Viper doesn't really care about food. So he stays happier. But it's still three over one, so she's not at risk of uh, gaining stress or anything like that. But her last cycle's decor was ugly. So that's making her upset. Which is exactly why I'm, I'm trying to sweep up the research floor. And then one of the things that I can do once I have the research floor swept up is to then put a potted plant or something like that to make her a little bit happier. And Kimo just leveled up. So Kimo, we're going to give you hard digging. So we are going to be able to get through that granite that has locked us in. I don't think I'm going to be rushing to go uh, dig my way out anytime soon, but um, just having the option is kind of nice. Day six, no one's died. 
It's telling me that I have insufficient oxygen generation because of the pressure problems. The pressure problems will sort of partially go away as I dig things out, which is, I know, a little strange. You're fixing a problem by just digging. Sounds as strange to you as it does to me, but it will work. So, uh, this is gonna be the mess hall. So, if we, if you guys want a mess hall, I'm gonna get interior decor, and then I'm gonna push for, uh, up here with, uh, oh man, where is it? Where's the mess tables? It's been so long since I played. Well, I'll find it when I get there. And that way we can gain a little bit more morale and maybe even have a uh, positive response as we work. That'd be pretty cool if someone got inspired. It's at the top, thanks. All right, down here, researchers run on our own treadmill. Oh, sorry, that hatch, uh, I just... Just ruined his day. Oh, and that ox light disappeared. And the research is complete for decor. So, mess tables... are here. So let's get meal prep, basic farming meal prep done. And then, the other thing I could do is, I could put in flower pots, uh, where the work is. So I'll put a few of those in. And set briar seed up for that one, and I'm gonna need another briar, or something, for the other one. For this one. I don't see any briar anywhere. So it might be out of luck. I think what I'm going to do is um, just force clean this up to show you the benefit uh, so that we can get this area nice and pretty for Kellyan and the research area. We're also uh, tidying up the water that we mopped, and here we go. We have another blueprint to print. I don't care for a doctor, May. Uh, for Marie, builder, suit wearer, doctor who's a gourmet and a uncultured is okay. The last one is totally not useful, so Marie would be all right-ish. But I don't think I need another builder. If anything, I need a some like builder digger combo. So I'm gonna do a shine eggs. Um, but the shine eggs aren't really gonna be worth anything to me. But here you can see that I have. Well, I, I'll start checking my giant list of um, resources off for reference on the right. And attribute increase. So chemo now moves a little bit faster. So if we take a look at the attributes here, uh, athletics went up, so we have 10% additional run speed. It's very helpful when you're having to travel around a lot. And now as this uh, down here gets tidied up, it's going to become nicer with the core over time. So we're almost there. It is actually pretty right where the research table is, but then gets uglier this direction. My kick cows are rather low, but I'm not that worried about it because I can just dig around the buried objects and probably get a lot more kick cows. Probably. Uh, but I will eventually have to decide how I'm going to feed myself, uh, depending on what kind of um, resources are available. So Nosh Sprouts down here prefer carbon dioxide. A, they're pretty temperature tolerant. As you can see. And pretty air pressure tolerant. And they make Nosh Beans. I don't know how farmable they are though. But growing in the wild, they grow very, very slow. There's also... Pepper plants, which isn't 
you know, it's more of a spice than a food. What, what else is there? I'm going to have to probably dig around a lot to try to figure out how I can feed myself here. So I don't have a ton of seeds. What was that? Oh, basic farming stuff. So one of the things I could do with basic farming is um, compost. The problem is, oh no, I have uh, the digging now. So let's dig this out uh, and put some compost back there. So that way, once the toilet out when when the outhouses max out, we can start composting for uh, for fertilizer. I think the slime lung that was in here is dead. It just like died off on its own, which is cool. Colony achievement. What was this? Oh, yeah, okay. Construct uh, outside of my initial starting biome. So this granite was outside of my initial starting biome. And uh, there you go. I got some arbitrary benefit for that. So cool. I'm actually going to move the compost a little bit further. It is stinky. I'll even wall it off, so it uh, it's not part of the latrine. I think it can't be part of the latrine. No, maybe it can. Some things can't. You know, no uh, proper industrial machinery can be part of a latrine, but compost, I guess, doesn't matter. Whatever happened to those shine eggs that I printed up? Oh, we must have stuck them in a box. So now we're currently researching meal prep for the mess tables, and then I'll get back to water filtration. Uh, if we take a look here at the decor, it is nice. So if we take a look at Kellyan, last cycle's decor for tomorrow should be a little bit nicer than the current cycle's decor. Hopefully. And some downtime. I would like to explore up now that I have the person that can dig tier one stones, but I'm trying to avoid the pockets of carbon dioxide because I don't have a method to deal with carbon dioxide just yet. So adding additional carbon dioxide to the colony would be a bad idea. Can't filter it. Not, well, I haven't set up to filter it yet, so avoid that at all costs. My cake cows are dropping, but again, I'm not really worried about the cake cows just yet because I can dig for uh, dig for objects and feed myself that way, or alternatively, make mush, which is gross, but it'll get the job done, provided that our um, our mood's high enough anyway. So, what is our mood? Is it at three, four, and six? Probably still five. Yeah. So if I have to eat mush. It'd be gross, but not terrible. Now, as we dig upwards, uh, one of the issues that we're going to have is this is not going to be very uh, oxygenated either. And here, I'm just going to put the advanced research table. The supercomputer. So meal prep is done. And that allows me to have mess tables, which allows me to have a mess hall. So I'll get that going in just a second. And then let's uh, cycle back to... Santa... Uh, no, maybe... Desalinate, uh, distillation for the water sieve, because you guys want the water filtration. All right, and for that, I'm going to need a super supercomputer.
I may also, at some point, uh, want to... I'm gonna redo my wiring here. I may also want to bury my... or not bury, uh, add some additional power batteries to everything so that I can store a little bit more power and not have to brown out constantly. I'm not that worried about it right now because it's, um, it's something that isn't a problem when I have a very small network, but eventually I'm gonna have a much bigger network, so... Here, this construction task is gonna be high priority. Can you accidentally expose your base to the vacuum of space? You can. But it's only going to bleed a little bit of your Atmo gradually. So if given hundreds of cycles, which is days, um, yeah, you could hypothetically vent your Atmo out. Um, but it's, it's not something that's going to happen overnight. Take a while. So here, we will put in the mess tables. So I'm gonna put in a water cooler, and then one, two, three mess tables. We're also gonna need a decor item, so sadly for Kellyan, uh, we're gonna have to get rid of this flower pot. Sorry, Kellyan, you, uh, you lost your flower there. And I'll, I'll build that tomorrow, so that I can check that off my list and start doing other things. The oxygen diffuser is not plugged in, so that's probably not a good idea, because that's our only source of oxygen. And we have survived another day, right dude? Oops. <laughs> not the credits, not the credits. So I have two hatches I could hunt for food if if and when I can cook them. You like this little sweater? <laughs> oh, I have two briar seeds. No, 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 don't do that. Apparently I have a second seed that I must have dug out from a buried object. In fact, I'll just leave this seed here unsown. So this currently is a mess hall. Which is a morale plus three. Let's see if we could do better. You need a bigger Yoda cam? If you show up early, I have big Yoda cams uh, to the early birds. Just saying. So, what is this now? This is still a mess hall. So, for this to become a great hall, it needs to be a little bit larger. Great halls need to be at least 32 tiles. Uh, so I can do that. Let's let's work on that. Might as well get the full bonus from it. So we're gonna lose the bonus temporarily because I am deleting it, and then we'll gain it back once I'm done updating. And just so that I can check this off my list, let's give this the, the old nines. You know how it is. No, don't go on break. Don't go on break. Don't go on break. It's a great haul. All right, I can check that off. Ta-da! So research water filtration is what we're going to work on now. Is taller not an option? Uh, I could do taller. I just decided to go wider in this this case. And sweep. So we got filtration. We're working on distillation. And I will continue to tidy up this area as well, so it's not ugly. Trying to keep the decor up for uh, Kellyan. And new blueprint. Ooh, a pit squeak. Uh, decor, ranching, building, farming, supplying, digging with so many negative traits. Holy cow. Um,
Yeah, I the, the dupes here are blah. Hey, Pipsqueak. Hey, I'm gonna leave it wild for now. Not gonna tame it because uh, I can't really feed it. So here we are exploring. Oh boy, a great big nothing. Holy cow. Yikes. The existential dread of uh, this biome is starting to set in here. Oh man, that is just empty. Yikes. Plenty of room for expansion, I guess. I'd rather have resources that keep me alive, but uh, you're not wrong. You're definitely not wrong. Alright, I'm gonna do another big day of cleanup. And yes, priority creep 9. Tomorrow will be a cleanup day, and then we'll have a somewhat tidy... Uh, the next thing I'm probably going to need to work out is food, but I really don't know how to grow food. I guess I could mealwood? Uh, mealwood farm? Or bristle blossom farm? But I really don't like the idea of using my water that way. So I don't know. So Great Hall plus six, Barracks plus one, Latrine plus one. Uh, so now we're sporting 11 morale for Kellyan, 12 for Viper, and Chemo 10. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, Millwood is cheap. So Millwood here, um, we could start to... Yeah, I, I mean, I could start a farm. I'll, I'll put that as a priority here. So, what should I... What should the priority be? There you go. You can vote on that. Uh, this water is not water, it's ethanol. C2H6O. Basic liquid fuel. Now, alternative to a farm, there is the micro busher. So this micro busher, just to let you know, it allows you to make food, uh, from, from, just, you know, mud, I guess, technically. So, well, it's like water and dirt, right? So, kind of mud. So, you can make mush bars. Uh, so mush bars is just dirt and water to eat. It's a grizzly meal, but, you know, whatever. Keeps you alive. Uh, which would not require a farm. Maybe I should have explained this before the poll, so let me redo the poll. Um, and then this does lead to, like, lice loaf and other units, but uh, we could always ignore our... We're adding morale, a lot of morale through a great hall and a little treen and other things. So we could basically ignore the fact that we're eating nasty food by just eating mush bars for a bit. Uh, because the negative modifier of a mush bar is easily offset by the great hall um, or I could work on a farm the problem the only problem with the farm is you know uh, I would have a very limited amount of stuff that I could farm for but I'm fine doing it if you want to vote for that that's cool I'm not trying to like influence you I'm just trying to say that I can easily feed myself without um, 
without, you know, going immediately for a farm. Farms aren't necessary. You can also feed yourself with ranches, too. So, the game allows you to have a whole bunch of options to how to feed yourself, so it's not just, you know, one option. Alright, so we got some iron up here. Wow, this looks really different than the iron I'm used to seeing. It's not like the blue iron. Oh, because this is iron versus iron ore. Oh. Cool. That's cool. Alright, we're still on the, like, super cleanup. Which is why they haven't, uh, done any research or anything like that. But our water is clean. And our food actually went up because we dug some muck root up. We're starting to get a carbon trap here. And obviously the carbon is starting to catch up to Kellyan, which means I might need to move Kellyan's bed just up here to temporarily avoid the issue. I think also that, um, because we haven't had power in a while, here, let me do a cake cleanup of like seven. We haven't had power in a while, so as a result of not having power in a while, we haven't been producing oxygen, so I can just get back to producing oxygen, which will solve a lot of those problems. Because now we're, now we're pumping it. All right, so going back to story. So here's a micro musher, and I can just do... I'll produce like 10 or something like that once we have the power up. I'm also setting up some additional batteries so that we can store more power and not have to constantly go and return to the manual generator over and over and over. Uh, you have 20 more seconds or 15 more seconds to vote. Not too much time. I can cook the eggs. True. I could cook the shine eggs. That would take the electric grill. Alright, water filtration. Got it. We're going to continue on water filtration. Take a look at decor again. Yeah, things aren't as ugly as they were. Very pretty around the dining room, too. I don't have anyone with the cooking skill yet. Because you need a cooking skill one to be able to cook eggs, which is why I haven't done that yet. I'm saying it's possible, but not for our current dupes. And the actual increase was... Science for Kellyan. Nice. What is Yoda doing on the ceiling? <laughs> he is his back turned to you all. Alright, I'm setting up these sweep... The sweep uh, priorities to four, which is below the average, so that they're just not working on that. does look like we got... Ooh, there is a volcano or something up here. There's a geyser or volcano up here. 
in this spot where the neutronium, uh, neutronium is. Of course, we can't dig into the uh, obsidian to free it, but I can dig towards it out of curiosity. I think that's the only one I've, um, for us having a geoactive world, that's the only one I've found so far, which is, um, you know, whatever. It's the way it is. I'll also start to dig this way to figure out what's over that way. But there's barely any oxygen up here, so it's a little tricky to dig. There we go. Kellyan's doing it. Interesting. Not doing, uh... Science. So over here we have... I don't know what this is. Just some... Some more copper ore, I, I suppose. Alright, so for priorities... I'm gonna have Viper cook for us. Nothing like uh, our janitor being the, the chef. So here he is, extruding... some nice mush bars out for us... to eat. I'm probably not gonna make uh, 10, because they do rot. So here it is, lovely little mush bar. Hmm, yes. Mushy, mushy, mush bar. And... Digging, ranching, tidying. But no cooking. Uh, farming, researching, shine eggs or fertilizer. I'll take the shine eggs again. What do you think takes better, mush bar or nutrient paste? Uh, mush bar. The ingredients that go into nutrient paste is like at least rice or something. Mush bars are just like dirt. It's just like wet dirt that you shove into your mouth. So mush bars are horrifyingly terrible. Uh, whereas nutrient paste is probably just like, like, uh, like the new trend of like weird superfoods. Okay, so. Uh, we have an answer here. This is space right here. This is the vacuum of... Ooh, the vacuum of space. I'm floating in space. So, we know that we're, um... I was right, I think. Well, I don't know how left I am, but, uh, we're, we're close to space. So, I will continue digging up... ...to figure out where space starts, but, you know, we have a pretty good idea now. Yeah, nutrient paste meals are just bland mush, whereas uh, these mush bars are are honestly just like eating a facial mask of mud. Mm. Facial mask. Oh, they're laying eggs. Kellyan is now holding your breath again, so I can fix that. Furniture? Caught. Yeah. Don't know about the accent. I'll drop that, but... Actually, let me put that, uh, over here. Because this will be out of the way for a longer period of time. Because I might end up using this spot, so there. And this... Get broken down. One of the one of the advantages of, uh, auction not included is you get refunded, like, completely and entirely for things. Most of the time, there's some exceptions, but most of the time you get refunded, so if you need to break things down, it's fine, you're not penalized. Hope I find a coal geyser? Yeah, it would be helpful. Would be helpful. So. Right now, we are researching distillation for the water sieve, and then I'm going to want to improve plumbing. Um, then, I'm also going to need to pivot down here to get the germ sensors, I think. 
and some of these signal switches. It's uh, it's not an easy task to set up water filtration, but it is a worthy one because you'll be able to conserve a lot of water that way and keep yourself healthy. Skills. Viper has leveled up again. So let's give you Improve Carry 2. That's I think you're going to use that sooner than anything else, and I'll give you the uh, Improve Carry 2 hat. The, the Dapper hat. And now you'll be able to lug around like a thousand kilograms of stuff in a go. So this doesn't look like it goes anywhere interesting because this is all just obsidian. Which is unfortunate. And I'm going to have a Viper make some mush for us. Oh, and then Kelly and leveled up Field Researcher. Give you the Field Researcher hat. Ta-da! Thunk. All right, so my cows are in the red because it's like, hey, you're kind of out of food. Hey, you kind of already know. Man, we are using power hard. Sorry, Kelly. We might want to get away from the manual generator, but the thing is, if we do burning coal, that all that's going to do is produce even more carbon dioxide, and we already have a carbon dioxide problem, so I'm trying to avoid that by just using uh, manual labor, as sad as it might be. And one more skilled up. So, chemo, we're going to give you super hard digging. And then the associated hat. Yep, it's hat time. Oh, that looks so disturbing. Uh, with super hard digging, one of the things that we'll be able to do is to dig out a larger pit for the um, for the carbon dioxide, which is just a lame way of saying I'm not dealing with this right now. This is also carbon dioxide. This is particularly cold carbon dioxide, though. The nosh sprouts are comfortable. Um, hang on. They are temperature from that is really hard to read because of the mod that I'm running. Negative to zero C 32 so they like it cold in other words. Man, that is not intuitive to read, though, at all. No, sir. Now, the question is, um... Oh, so there we go. We have the water sieve. Let's change the research again. So, I do want to eventually get to... Cycle, timer, gas, liquid, not, wait. Well, I definitely need automation wires. And then I need to get to the germ sensor, which is... Uh, somewhere in here. Oh, Lord. Here it is. Pathogens. So, in medicine. Got it. Even more time. Missed a puppy treat. Sorry about that, Killian. He's very, very happy that you reminded me. Now, let's make a little bit of a stack of food for later. So there's some sort of relic here. But it just might be tiled obsidian stuff. I don't know if it leads anywhere. This might be interesting to explore. So I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you all vote on um, how should I feed myself. Three simple options. Mush bars galore! Or... Ranching or farming? What do you guys think should be the, the way I go about this? 
So we have some creatures to ranch. I don't really think that I have anyone that's good at ranching, but uh, that won't stop me. Where we could hypothetically ranch the hatches and have them hatch eggs and then eat their eggs once I have someone with cooking skill. Alternatively, uh, we could start farming with the uh, precious resources that we have. Could I do a mix? Yes, I could do a mix, but this is sort of like, what am I doing first? What is uh, top priority? And you can see the little bar graph up here with my cake cows going up. So this is our pit of carbon dioxide. Okay, that research got done. What did I just research? Smart home? Cool, so that's some automation wires and stuff like that. Uh, next up, we are going to want... Hmm. Let's go for... That's a good question. Improve plumbing so that we can get liquid reservoirs, and then we'll go for the germ sensors. Okay, no germs have escaped so far. And you have about two and a half minutes to vote, whether it's uh, mush bars, ranching, or farming. Man, this biome is rough. So I, now I, I have a rough idea. Oh man, look at my cake house. I have a rough idea of how far north or south I am. So the next big thing is to figure out how west or east I am to where's the center. All right, so what I want is Kelly and yeah, you run on the wheel and then the micro musher, I'm just gonna make forever for a bit to catch up on the cake cows I'm missing. Uh, the other question is where is, oh, okay. So once chemo is done clearing out this granite, I'm gonna start chasing uh, buried objects to try to feed myself for now while you finish the vote on how I do it permanently. Uh, that's not where I wanted you, but okay. Let's try to encourage you to go where I want you. There's a little bit more kick cows. I could probably dig down here and get even more. Let's dig this way. Grab whatever's that. Once chemo's done with that little tunnel. So this leads to a phosphorite, uh, to like a chlorine, whatever this biome is called, I forget. Chat was really nice with those three extra map things. Uh, I mean, not really. The, uh, the random, the... Yeah, no, I don't think it was actually all that nice. The random starting location actually is pretty rough. Because you have no concept of, like, how close you are to uh, resources around you. Makes it more challenging, for sure. Or it can. I mean, it's random. Alright, choosing blueprints. Uh... Supply Ranch Doctor, Dig, Cook, or Poke. I'm probably going to kill this thing because these Pokespawns, uh, what they'll end up doing is they eat... 
Well, no, they're. I guess they're fine if they're wild. I'll just leave them wild for now. And farming has one, so... And set up a basic farm. Farming only won by a tiny margin. But it doesn't really matter. So what I think I'm probably going to do is farm millwood. Um, so let's just to explain what millwood is. Millwoods produce meal lice, an ugly wriggling grain that is harvested. It wants to be between somewhere, uh... I gotta hate the way they show their temperature. This is awful. 10 to 30 C. Um, yeah, okay. 10 to 30 C in oxygen or carbon dioxide doesn't matter. It likes to eat dirt in a farm plot. Um... It has a seed chance, and yeah, we are going to set one of those bad boys up to keep us fed. So this is our dining room area. Uh, Kelly, and I think you're about to lose your... Hmm. Yeah, you're about to lose your bedroom again. I know you're a, a man or a lady displaced. So, let's put your cot here. I know, it's terrible. Stick a door there. You'll be alright. And then we'll start to uh, put the farm right above the dining room. Which means that like, I might want at some point to put my kitchen here. So that the kitchen is next to the Great Hall and the farm is just above the Great Hall and then probably have like food storage or something like that up there. We'll figure it out. Let's not destroy the uh, bedroom until the next one's built though. Uh, Ark, I'm not really, I don't know the answer to your, your question there. So, this ruin is just some lockers with some clothing, perhaps. No one knows how to dig through obsidian yet, or abyssalite for that matter. Um, I'm gonna nix digging this tunnel for now, going up. I don't really care about the exploration at the moment, we'll work on the farm. So then another thing to, to think about is, oops. Uh, if we want a farm, we could get a greenhouse, which is a requirement of, uh, has a farm station, which allows you to tend the crops. It has a maximum size of 96 tiles, minimum size of 12, and it has to be enclosed. So we can work on those requirements. Oh, and your bed is done. Oh, we're also starting to get polluted water. So polluted water, what it's going to do is it's going to off-gas um, dirty oxygen, which is going to need to be filtered, uh, which means that it would be a good idea for me to have a place to put this dirty water even before I have a... Um, even before I have water filtration set up. I think what I could do is temporarily just empty it out here. It's a stopgap measure, but we'll just sort of bury it in the carbon dioxide. Even though I think it's lighter, if memory serves, but I don't really have a good place for it, so we're just going to deposit over there for now until we get the water filtration set up. So here, liquid of... You know what? That's going to make our feet nasty, though. Um, instead of that spot... Uh, no more stellars in the near future, no. If, uh, if you're wondering how my um, my series are are chosen, uh, here is a link for you. Hmm, where to put this water? Hey, Kellyan, how would you feel about? No, I'm not going to do that to you. I don't know. I could just let it off gas and filter it. Is it? as it gasses. Because I, I really don't have a good solution for it. Oh, jeez. Did you just do that? Apparently it was allowed. 
So we have to deal with this now. Lovely. Jeremy, Jeremy water. Okay, uh, we're gonna switch the... We're gonna switch our uh, water well. So I guess Jeremy water is gonna go in here now. So all water goes in there. That's kind of annoying because I, I, when I built this uh, bottle emptier, only water was selected, I'm pretty sure. And then they were like, oh, okay. Water, right? Yeah, that's any water that we want to put in there, right? No, it wasn't, but okay. Um, hmm. I may want to make an artificial aquifer too. How about I ask you, how should I handle the water situation? Um, use the uh, the lower central water. Build an artificial pool or. Um, viewer suggestions. Thank you for tuning in to Oxygen Non Included Badlands, which originally streamed live on Twitch February 17th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. But please keep in mind that this is a casual series and I haven't played in quite some time. This series is a result of a weekly poll which determines what I play. So if there's to be more oxygen not included, you'll have to win in the polls. If you'd like to vote, the best way to do so is to join Discord and sign up for the notifications. Thank you so very much for watching. A special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel. I'll catch you next episode or perhaps an upcoming stream. Stay safe out there, duplicants.